Hi, Linda Bowen here from StampingWithLinda.com, your cardiologist since 1997, helping you create cards from the heart. Today is Friday and tips and techniques, and I've got a great tip um, today to piggyback on a technique video that I shared a couple weeks ago. Um, this new technique was shared with me by a team member, Nancy Stedman, from Churchville, New York. She took the technique video that I did and came up with another great tip for layering. Now this layering technique is great uh, for beginners who don't have a die cut machine but want layers to their cards or if they have a cling set or photopolymer that does not have dyes to it. Case in point is the photopolymer set um, decorative borders. Now I received this at the Stampin' Up! on stage and I love the delicate uh, borders to this stamp set, but again, no dies, and it is photopolymer. Now, the other technique that I shared was done with the cling and the red rubber, and I showed you how to save your excess cling, and when you stamp your stamp, um, for your image, then you can take this negative image, go over top and trace it, and then cut it out so you have a layering technique. Well, with photopolymer, you do not have that excess image because it is clear. But let me show you what Nancy came up with. I love, love, love this technique. So she stamped the photopolymer, then she turned the photopolymer over like so, but it kind of moves around um, if you don't anchor it down. So what she did was take her clear, clear block and Mount it on here. So when you line it up, you're going to line it up perfectly on that image and then take your pencil and simply draw around that photopolymer and then it's easier to cut out. You don't have all the details um, of cutting in and out. So I'm just going to show you an image that I have already done. So I traced it around like that. Um, I took my petal pink and colored the background, but then I just cut around the image from the pencil mark from the outline of the photopolymer. So you're not cutting down into the tiny uh, leaves and just makes for a great layering technique. I'm sure I'm going to have lots of cards to share with you using this great layering tip. Again, for beginner stampers or those stampers that uh, don't have dies for their sets or the um, yeah, they don't have dies for their set to be used um, with their stamp and cut and boss machine. So, hope you've enjoyed this tip. Thanks, Nancy, for giving us another uh, technique using the outline of your stamp. Thanks for joining me. Talk to you real soon. Bye-bye.